This court's going to call cause number 52934. This is in the 356 District Court of Hardin County, Texas, and it's in the interest of Kimberlyn and Cameron Gilly. Uh, Miss Heather Gilly, I need you to raise your right hand and tell me that your hand is in the air. Yes, sir, it's in the air. Heather Gilly, do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. You put your hand down. William Gilly and any other witnesses that are going to testify, please raise your right hand. Right hand up. You solemnly swear, Mr. Gilly, the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You can put your hand down. Ms. Alexander, this is a non-agreed child support review order that you filed uh, last month. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Your case has been called. You can call your first witness. Before we proceed forward, I'm sorry, Judge. Um, I may need Ms. Shaw to um, testify. Kim Shaw, please raise your right hand. You solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir, I do. You can put your hand down. Thank you. <clears throat> May I proceed forward, Judge? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the state will call Miss Gilly. Miss Gilly, what is your full name? Heather Denise Gilly. Okay. And you had um, come to our office, or at least online through um, our office, as to a non-agreed order. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, do you agree with everything in that order except as to when it how when the child sports should start is that correct um yes ma'am am i going to be able to explain that at some point and we'll get to that in one second just want to make sure okay uh, hold on I'm bringing up the order So there was, there was a prior order that was done where one of the children lived with you and one lived with dad. Is that correct? That's correct. Is that Kimberlyn? Yes, ma'am. Kimberlyn lived with her father for a year. And she's back with you now. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, and when did Kimberlyn move back with you? Kimberlyn moved back with me last summer. It was um, July of 2022. Okay. And how old, uh, when's, when does Kimberlyn turn 18? Kimberlyn will turn 18 um, May 19th of 2023, a couple of, I mean, 18, a couple of weeks before she graduates. So she's graduating May as well, correct? Correct. Okay. And that prior order was done back in January of 2022. Does that sound about right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So in this current non-agreed order which dad had signed miss uh, alexander let, let me see if i can shut you off miss gilly the numbers in the order are correct you just think it needs to go back to when she came back to live with you correct because i did file in july um that she sure. had moved back into the home for a modification right. and when she had moved in with her dad they had taken that amount of time she had been in his house because she had been in his house from the summer mm -hmm. until January, mm -hmm. and they removed that amount of money from his arrears. Yes, ma'am. It's called a possession credit. But I can't, I don't have the, the law does not allow me, Miss Gilly, to go back in time and adjust when the child support starts. I know it seems awful crazy to you that there's a hole in the law, but that's exactly what it is. While I do have the right to give Mr. Gilly, or you for that matter, possession credit of the children because you had them in your possession at the time, you weren't court ordered to pay Mr. Gilly child support. So I can't adjust that. And I certainly do not have the right under the law, Miss Gilly, to go back in time and increase Mr. Gilly's child support because Kimberlyn was living back with you. I, I just don't have that right. Even even though I had filed for the yes. modification well, and there, so you, there's nothing. Right, you, you, Miss Gilly, there's, and I really try to do this so it doesn't come across as offensive, but it, it really does no matter how, how hard, how, how easy I try to say it. You didn't file a lawsuit, Miss Gilly. You asked the attorney general's office for help and they decided to wait six or seven months before they got that help done. OK, that doesn't change the, the right. The fact that I can't 
help you do what it is that you want me to do or that you may deserve. Okay. The only other option that you had, Miss Gilly, was you could have immediately gone out and hired your own attorney and filed your own lawsuit to change the court order. But so because you gave it to the AG's office and asked them to help you, you were kind of limited by having to wait for them to get that done. Okay. But I do see what you're saying. It's kind of it's kind of the 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 give and take that you have when you turn it over to a state agency and let them take care of it for you because you just think that they ought to be able to do it as quickly as they can. And sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Okay. Well, I just, I thought that was the channels that we had to go through since that's who's over our child support that mm. we have to go through them. Well, but I mean, they, they didn't handle y'all's divorce. I mean, y'all, you had your own attorneys for your, for your divorce. So, I mean, you. you right. Had, but it was set up in our divorce that we would go through the attorney general that right. that's who is over our child support. Well, uh, that's, that's not the case, Miss Gilly. You're a citizen of the state of Texas and the United States of America. You have the right to go out and hire your own attorney to handle your own legal business. You you always have that right. Okay. Yes, sir. Hey, no, nobody can take that right from you, Miss Gilly. Not me, not the state, nobody. All right. All right. So while I do understand what you're saying, Miss Gilly, I, I don't have a choice. I can't go back in time and correct the child support order. Go ahead, Miss Alexander. I think that might have taken care of the issue. I, I know it doesn't satisfy Miss Gillian. I don't blame her, um, but I'm I'm bound by what the statute says. I can I'm allowed to do. I understand, Judge. Uh, I guess my um, just to ask Mr. William Gilly, Mr. William Gilly, do you still agree with all the terms that was in the non-agreed order that you signed? Yes. Are you asking the judge to sign that order as it is? Yes. Do you feel those orders are in the best interest of the children? Yes. No further questions, Your Honor. All right. Well, Mr. Gilly, is there anything else you think I need to know about this case before I make a ruling? Not that I'm aware of. All right. Ms. Gilly, is there anything else that you think I need to know about this case before I make a ruling? I don't guess. I mean, is he going to start paying what he owes now because he's behind now at this point? Well, I mean, it's going into effect as of April the 1st. No, oh, yeah, he's 10 days behind already. Okay. Uh, okay. Does he owe you some money from the back, Miss Gilly? Because that's not listed in this order. According to the child support application, he does still owe because he's never been amended to stop paying for Cameron. So. Okay. So they didn't ask me to make any rulings in regards to what, if anything, Mr. Gilly owes in regards to this case. Okay, Ms. Gilly. So if they if they feel like there is some arrears out there they need to take a look at, they will probably do that. Um, uh, I I am a month behind for the, the month of March. And Miss Gilly, just so you know, um that is something that, that I would leave up to the AG's office to handle the arrears in the case. But your current child support, that's always something you can take care of on your own, okay? Yes, sir. I'm going to sign the order as prepared. Uh, Miss Alexander will send me the proposed order and I'll sign it and get it back to them. And then they're going to mail a copy of it, send it to each of you. Okay. Okay. Uh, you don't have to be satisfied with my ruling. I, I mean, I, I'm, you have the right to appeal if you wish to do so, but the judge above me is not going to be able to do anything different than what I just did because the law does not allow uh, the courts to go back in time and make adjustments to, to current child support. You just I guess I'm just not understanding why it was okay for it to be deducted from his, yet he doesn't have to pay when she lives in my home. I'm, I do not understand, and I'm sorry. I, I do not mean any disrespect. I'm just you, super frustrated that he's paid the bare minimum for all you're of these not, years, yeah. and it's the most expensive time for her life when she's a senior and there's no help from him. I didn't so feel, and I didn't feel dis, I didn't feel disrespectful, Miss Gilly. I told you there's a hole in the law, and yes, no sir. matter no matter how many times I send letters to my state legislator, I can't get that hole filled. Um, it just needs to be something that's correctable at, at the time, and it's not. So there's like this wall that's up for me that I can't go back behind that wall to fix it. Okay. Yes, sir. And that's the hole, and I. I've been asking for 25 years for them to fix that hole and they just won't do it. 
Okay? Yes, sir. All right. I wish you both.